All right, we're back for another portfolio review. Uh, this one's for Adarsh. I'm sorry if I butcher that. Let's dive right in. So very first thing I want to see, uh, let's get rid of a mobile view and let's do a hard refresh. Uh, bu -bu -bu. How long does this take to load? Oh, wow. Uh, Uh, I am going to assume that's my VPN. There's no way it, it takes six seconds to load this. Okay, I'm gonna assume that was my VPN. Um, content loads pretty well. I'm actually just gonna do a third one. Call it a sanity check. Cool, um, okay, any oversized images? Uh, 312. This feels like it could be less. Did you toss us in like tiny JPG? Is that what this is? Uh, yeah, JPG, JPEG. Um, see if you could optimize this more and see what the uh, difference looks like between the optimized image and the unoptimized. What else? Um, oh, all. Where is your script? Everything looks like it loaded pretty quickly. Wait, do you not have an external CSS file script? Am I missing it? Probably maybe React. And everything's just bundled into the script. I don't think so. I don't know. That's irrelevant. I think load times are good. So let's take a look. Um, Amardash, uh, designer, developer with the main focus on digital design and brand. Okay, love it. So you're a designer and developer and you picked your Ephesus. I love this because I think it's very hard. And in my previous video, I've, I've talked about this. I think it could be very hard to advertise your portfolio. That's a design portfolio and a developer portfolio without picking and emphasizing on one. So I love that you just did this. Digital design and branding. All right, uh, it's really minimal. Are these icons relevant? What the, okay, that's cool. I actually really like that. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, okay, now I have two reviews to do, but we're gonna do the light mode first. What is this? Yep, just home page, cool. Uh, featured work, creating the branding identity. Uh, and then this goes to the project, love it, scope of work, industry. Love that you emphasize the industry. Pop ins. Write a bit of a case study or. That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. I like it. Um, I think being a little bit more transparent, whether it's through like a, a blog post or some sort of extra context about like how you got to the final solution would be very helpful. Um, I think this kind of just touches surface level stuff. Shows the results of the work, but not how you got there. And uh, disagree if you want. Maybe I'm wrong, but typically um, that's going to be very relevant for a designer, and, and uh, it's going to be a little bit different than a developer. You're going to provide more of that process. Uh, it looks it looks pretty clean. Looks good. Are you saying it took you a year to develop capital management? You maintained it. Various print designs, design. Okay, so like end of 2018 to 2019, you developed it. So, you, what? Are you organizing this based on what you think is going to be most impressive? It's not a timeline. Like, it's not based on the most recent. So, I don't know. Uh, collaborated with some of these companies. I like that. Companies you've worked with in the past. Let's chat and get right to it. This is a mail to link. Inquiries for small, medium sized projects. Um, okay. Slightly ambiguous, but um, just looks like you're not accepting like enterprise offers or enterprise uh, work. Dribble, Behance, Twitter. 
Okay, cool. So this 100% is a focus on design. Uh, it looks good. It's clean. I think providing more context around how you got to this solution would be healthy for you. Um, allowing people to see, I don't know if you could allow people to see a live link to the project. I think feeling and going through the flow of using the website, even if it's just like the landing page and as much as they can access, I think that's a very, I think it's very strong and it's a good play. Uh, but maybe you don't have live links to these. And then night mode. You got the contrast down a little bit rough here, but it's it's not that relevant. You don't have like paragraphs of text. Um, Pretty have collaborated. I'd be curious what the score is for the contrast on this dark blue, light blue, and this dark. Is that like a purplish? Man, this light green is rough to read that white. Um, it looks good matches this i'm guessing it's the same green i like this green against this blue it's just hard to it's rough on the eyes to read this white against this green um what else let's take a look at mobile pretty simple uh you have no division whatsoever, like no no border, nothing like that. So you're using your border to divide sections, but not the portfolio projects, which is fine. And most people don't. I would create a little bit more vertical spacing because this, this spacing is probably like one half of the spacing probably separates the next project. And I don't think that's enough. Uh, without any border, without any containing element, to like create some sort of card look or uh, I think these might be bunched together just slightly. I would try increasing the vertical height and see how they look. Uh, wait, what? Where does this project start? Hold on. I actually have to look up. Okay, so you have the screenshot above your title. Okay, that makes more sense. Never mind. See how it's kind of easy to get lost in the separation between the projects? Right there, I think, was the perfect example. Um, these are centered, but these are right aligned? Why? It might it might make sense. Um, I'm just I'm just curious why. Uh, this is a little bit more readable. I mean, white against this dark blue background. And the desktop version. Uh, let's. Actually, I was I was confused. Never mind. It's the same thing. Uh... Same advice, really. I don't think it changes between the night and the dark mode. Okay. All right. Uh, that's it. I I love your color scheme. I think you. I mean, you're a designer. You you know contrast. You know placement. Um, I think you, kind of. You probably have more intuition on what to deliver to sell yourself as a designer than I do. Uh, so I can only go by the experience of the portfolios that I've reviewed and the designers that I've helped, um, but I'm going to trust your knowledge over mine. So take it with a grain of salt, um, but all my feedback still kind of stands. But you understand color contrast well. Um, I think you kept this extremely simple. Uh, you emphasize your portfolio, which is important. You kept this very short, the above the fold, and then directly into your work. Um, if this was taller, you know, I would recommend you have a button that goes to your portfolio or some sort of call to action. But I mean, overall, I don't have a lot of feedback. I think this is really creative. I love this. I think people are going to love this as well. Um, I would actually, I, would, I wonder if you can create some sort of animation effect uh, just hovering over it, just so you can, the user knows. Okay, this does something. Um, I think they might play around with it, but yeah. Slightly poor contrast in other places. Various, I actually want to take a look at this. Um, various print designs. I think you do really good work. I honestly do, I think you do really good work. I would be really interested to learn more about your process.
All right, that's it. Um, awesome job with this. This looks beautiful. Um, best of luck. I, I think the last comment I have is um, I'm guessing you're just putting developer on there because you you've coded a bit and i think any designer that knows how to code a little bit and kind of just piece things together and figure it out is very desirable the number of times i've heard a designer call themselves a unicorn blows my mind but it's usually saying hey i can code a little bit i think i think this is a good touch um i love that you emphasize the designer role that's it that's all i have to say um, anyways, if you like this review, please leave this video a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any feedback or questions, uh, leave a comment below. And if you want me to review one of your projects, your portfolio or your portfolio project, reach out to me on Twitter at developerdontv. All right, thanks guys. See ya.